Hello, 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 beautiful people. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do the daily reading for today. Today is 420. I don't know why I thought about that. And I'm not even a smoker, but happy 420 to you all. Alrighty, so today is Tuesday, April the 20th. I am here to do a collective reading. It is going to be a general reading. It's for all the zodiac signs. So please do only take what resonates with you, my loves. As always, sending you guys out of love, light, healing energy, and hell of abundance. XOXO. Sorry, guys, I had to move my fan over because, I don't know, I get super, super, super hot when I record. Why? I don't know. It's weird. All right. So, let's hop in, guys. Let it be great, of course, to see what's going on with you all as a collective. Let's start out with some general messages, and then we'll hop into the love portion. This deck is, like, super huge for me to shuffle. So, I have to, like, spin it up. Look at the bottom. We have to let go. All right, are you guys letting go, gaining insight? All right, so let's see. Let's see, Spirit Universe, messages for the collective. Please give me some general messages for the collective for today, April the 20th. If I resonate with you guys, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. And if you guys would love to book a personal reading with me, fireintuition.com. All right, so let's see. We have curiosity. It says, be spontaneous, wander, move forward, look ahead, and stretch above your present circumstances. So I love this. It's time for you guys to be curious. All right. Love it. So be curious. We have um, nature. Go out in nature as much as you can for its pure creativity can teach you everything you need to know. So there's a message for you guys outside. Um, you, I feel like with this, it's like you guys may walk past something, see something, go into like a restaurant, a building. You may be traveling. You might see a picture. You might see something. And even though it's saying like go outside as much as possible, yeah, I get that part. But at the bottom where it says, um, for its pure creativity, there's something that's going to catch your eye that's going to get your attention. It's going to be like a photo or like a picture, like artwork. It's something that's, it's going to be like a sand, something on the wall. It's something that's going to catch your attention, all right? Um, so like the more you're outside, you may see it or I just feel like it's saying like, you know, Something is definitely going to get your attention. All right, guys? So, let's see. Let's pull, like, two more messages. I keep seeing that Cycles card. Let's see. Messages for the collective. We have Overwhelmed. The hard work we love can leave us feeling burdened, drained, and burnt out among other problems. So some of you guys are just burnt out. Some of you guys are just overwhelmed. Some of you guys are just like stressed the fuck out. All right. And you're just overwhelmed. Okay. By something, by someone, with the work. Okay. Because it says hard, the hard work we love. Okay. This can even be like, it's little like, you know, like just being overwhelmed as a mother, your children, work, school, anything. Okay. But some of you guys are definitely burnt out, drained, um, and feeling burdened. All right, and you guys are going to come out of that energy. So we have two more cards that flew out, and we have passion, and then we have let go. Okay, so we have passion. It will take passion for you to push through your self criticism to get to get to a place of confidence. I love this card. Um, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it because this is seeing like you guys are needing to put passion and creativity with like the passion and the creativity within you. You guys are needing to use that to help you guys boost your self confidence, like your your self-esteem, like to stop being so, you know, judgmental, stop criticizing, stop being your worst critic. So it seemed like take the passion, the creativity that is within you, okay, and replace it with confidence. All right, guys. All right. And then we have let go. And it says, what, if anything, can be done to let go of what is standing in your way? Love it. What, if anything, so if you can ask the universe anything or anything can happen to let go to release yourself from something, who would it be? What would it be? How would you ask? Okay? So what, if anything, can be done to let go of what is standing in your way? I feel like you guys need to answer that question to yourself personally, okay? So um, and what I mean by personally is like, 
Don't speak it out. Don't speak it out loud while you're listening to this reading. Take some time. Meditate on the question. And then answer it. In your sacred space, private time, before you go to bed, whatever. Okay? So let's hop in, guys. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on with the collective and love for today, April the 20th. Let's see, April the 20th. Oh, I wanted to use my new oracles, the I Ching of Love. I love this oracle deck. It's super cute. So let's see. Let's pull some messages. Let's see where your person's energy is at. All right, whoever you guys may be dealing with, whoever's on your mind, when you are listening to this reading, or when you listen to this reading. So let's see. All right, Spirit Universe, when it comes to the collective, what is on their person's mind? When it comes to the collective, what is on their person's mind? The young bride. Harmony, love, and peace. Oh, wow. 1154. And we have sex. Mm, so somebody finds you very attractive. You may be younger than them, or they just see you as very young, very attractive. They see you as like their peace. Like they, like they, when they're with you, they're like, it's harmony, it's love, it's peace, it's happiness. All right. And they're also thinking about sex. So maybe it's been a while since you guys have been intimate. Okay. I want to clarify these. At the bottom, we do have family. Okay. And we have happiness is to love. So I feel like this person wants a family with you. You either have a family, like you have children, or it's like they're happy when you guys are together or around each other. Okay. So, I want to go into this, the Young Bride card. Let's see what this is about really quick, guys. Um, so, somebody has sex on their mind. They're like, yes, let's get freaky. Hey. All right, let's see. Right, let's see. Is it deck right? Okay, it is. So let's see. We have the young bride, guys. Let's see if this is about the young bride. Why is the young bride here? We have the tower, eight of pentacles, and the four of pentacles. Wow, ten of pentacles. I don't know what this tower is about because this is something that's happening out of nowhere. Eight of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. Someone is definitely trying to hold on to you. Someone sees you as their future wife. All right. Um, they want to marry you. They want to hold on to you. We have the Four of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. So someone is definitely trying to build and grow a relationship with you. They want something long term with you. Wow. That is so fucking crazy, guys. You know why? Because... So I was at the salon, right? And I had went on like my IG and like as soon as I like logged in, I had seen this post and it was it said, um, sis move on. You are someone else's wife. You are someone else's everything. So I was like I was like, hmm, I just instantly just knew that it was like I needed to post it. I was like, you know, someone needs to hear this, okay? So I posted it and now I'm looking at this and it's like this is how someone feels. Someone feels like you're their everything. Someone feels like like they see you as their future wife. They see you as their everything. Like someone is definitely trying to build and grow and have a relationship with you. They see you as like their peace, their happiness. They see you as everything, their future wife. This could be the energy that's coming in towards you guys. But it's so weird that I just posted that like not even like an hour ago. Okay. Um. And the cards and how they came out. So let's see. Why is the ten? Of, I mean, not the ten. Why is the tower here? Going to the tower. Could be a Scorpio, a Aquarius energy. Why is the tower here? The fool in reverse, the hermit. It could be a Virgo and Aries or an Aquarius that you guys were um, dealing with. So this looks like past energy. Okay. So this this is okay. So someone had their chance, and it's like they kind of messed things up between you guys. Okay. With the hermit, someone's going within. This is someone thinking, going within. The hermit is also telling you that you guys are soul searching. Um, you guys are definitely like taking a step back. You guys are waiting for true love or waiting for some type of love to come in, and. 
it's like this person that's around you or that's coming in or towards you. It's like they're wedding marriage. This is new love. All right. The new love is looking good. The new love is like the new love is like long term is what I'm feeling. Let's go from the four to the eight. Let's see the hermit seven of cups reverse. And we have with the six of wands. So it's like whatever you were giving attention to, whatever got your attention, you're not doing that anymore. For some of you guys, it's like you guys are attracted to a type. So like the pretty boy or the pretty girl or just a certain type with the six of wands reverse. And you're like, nope, I'm not falling for that type anymore. Every relationship I had like that, it was it was destroyed, damaged, it didn't go anywhere. So the hermit is shining the light for sure. Okay, you're shining the light on, on your past, your relationships. And it's like you guys are like, I'm young still, I want to get married, I want to settle down. You know, I want a relationship, I want to be with someone long term. Look, three of principles, that's what's on your mind. You guys are grieving from the past, okay, with the five of cups here. Eight of wands reverse. I feel like you guys are not talking to your past. Or you guys are going to stop talking to your past. Our communication is going to slow down. Look what we have. The emperor. The emperor is coming in right after this. Okay. So it looks like there's going to be some healing separation. Or you guys are ending a, a relationship. Or you're realizing something. And boom. This new relationship. This new person is coming in. Let's pull some angel answer messages. And kind of see what's going on with this situation. Because this definitely looks like some type of new love. Or a new love that's coming in. Yeah. This is. Definitely new love. And that's very interesting that I posted this. I mean, that I that this came up after I just posted that post. I put it on IGN on the community tab. And that is so interesting that I just posted that. That is so... Um, let me see. Messages for... Look. Wow. Look. Big happy changes. And then we have a year from now. So I love this because... In a year from now, I feel like, I don't feel like it's going to be a year from now that you guys meet this person. I feel like in a year from now, everything is going to like come together, unfold, the happiness, the celebration, the engagement. It's something like that that's going to happen in a year from now. So I want to pull a fire intuition oracle on that and we're going to see what's going on, going on a year from now. For some of you guys, this could have happened about a year ago that you met this person and now you guys are taking things to the next level. It's a lot of big happy changes coming into your relationship. Okay, um, and someone wants to marry you, and I feel like it's going to come to you as a surprise, all right? But let's see, a year from now, messages for the collective a year from now. A year from now. All right, so let's see. Wow, so, Okay. So it's interesting for some of you guys. For some of you guys, you guys have big happy changes coming into your life. You're meeting the person, you're meeting the one, or you're meeting someone that you're going to hold on to. You see yourself marrying them, they see themselves marrying, or, or they see themselves marrying you, something like that. And there's going to be some big happy changes. But, 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 a, in a year from now, some of you guys may book a post personal reading because someone's going to come back around, okay? And you might mess with this person, deal with this person, but they're going to want to come back around and, and be different like they're gonna be like oh i changed i'm different it could be before that it could be sooner than that all right and they're gonna see what they lost they're seeing what they're lost for some of you guys this is the energy that you're in now you met someone and it's like this past person is coming back around and they're like oh i want to marry you let's get married let's do this let's do that and you're like i didn't already moved on i moved forward and it's like now they want to come back and get married and be all serious and some of you guys are needing to book a personal reading okay Cause some of you guys are like, dang, I just, I don't, I wasn't expecting this. And you're like, should I stay with my person? But look, see, I hope you are the one. But then we have, I don't have time for your shit. So I feel like deep down inside, you know that this new love is the one, or you know that there's something there. But then I feel like this ex situation or this past situation is coming up, and it sucks that the past had to come up because we have such a good reading. Not saying that it's not still a good reading, and not saying that the past can't come up, but it's just like, it's like they are gonna try to like slide their way in or say something you know so let's see we have the young bride here let's clarify this young bride damn two cards all right let me uh let's see wow look long-term commitment all right and then we have fullness and fear of love so when i see fullness and long-term commitment just so you guys can see both of the cards look fullness is right here because my finger's there and then we have long-term commitment, okay? When I when I clarify the young bride. So you guys have 
since I have a long term commitment coming in. Okay, where it's gonna be fullness. Like it's it's you're gonna be complete. You're gonna feel complete. You're gonna feel like this is it. Okay? But then you guys have fear of love. And I feel like it's because of this person, this situation coming back around. It's gonna come back around. All right, and it may just kind of put you in fear. You may be scared because maybe this is what you wanted, but I feel like you already know that this other person is where it's at, the long-term commitment. I moved away so no one can find me. See, you moved away from this person. Are they moved away? Are there's just been distance? Are there's distance? Are there's a long-term relationship here? See, three of swords in reverse. This person wants you to forgive them. They're going to try to come back and compliment you, okay? And I feel like you should be like, you know what? Thank you. I know I'm beautiful, but I moved on. I have a long-term relationship. I'm with a real man or a real woman. I'm happy. I'm full of love. I'm about to get married. Okay? I used to feel lost without you, but I don't anymore. Bye. Okay? So, it's like, whatever this is, it's like we have big happy changes if you allow it to happen. Okay? So, like the wind, it says the wind, let their asses blow away. All right? So, we have harmony of love. Let's see what this is about. Because harmony of love, you guys are in love, and that's number 11. You guys are, like, in love. You're happy. So let's see. I'm loving this reading. Wow, judgment is here. With the magician and the knight of cups. So a lot of you guys have forgiven the past. You have forgiven the past. You caught judgment. You forgiven the past. Two major comments, not of cups. You allow new love to come in. You're allowing new love to come in. This new love is different. It's going to be peaceful. Okay? Or a lot more peaceful. Or there's just going to be a lot more love in this new relationship. Okay? You guys are, like, all about finding each other. You guys are really happy. A lot to celebrate. A lot to, like, just, it's like, it just looks, I just feel like a warm energy. Like, I feel, like, warm. Like, wow. Love it. Okay? Um... I feel like for some of you guys, honestly, you're, you're ready, but you're not ready. Queen of Pentacles is the reverse of the Nine of Swords. But this can be fear. You may fear going into this because you're like, okay, it feels right. Or, you know, like, what if we're together for right now and then something happens? Like, don't even think about that. Don't even think about the future. Don't even think about that. Just go day by day with them. The world card. That, that feeling, that energy is going to come to a completion. All right? With the world card. That energy, that feeling is going to come to an ending. You're going to close the door to that energy. With the world card, seven of wands, you're going to stay in your ground. But it's like, it's more so like you like, you know what, um, this is you like, you know what, it's time for me to wake up. And that's interesting because I'm about to say, you know what, Ash? <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Because it's so funny because I was telling Sagittarius in the reading that I did for them that like that, this is how I kind of felt. Um, Not this reading, but this is how I kind of felt like when I met my, when I met my person. And it's like. It was so weird because I was so scared. I was like, I just was thinking so negative. Everything was wrong. It was never right. But it was just me and my thoughts. And then on top of that, I was dating a, dating a sign that a lot of people like talk bad about or say things about. I never dated the sign, you know, but I was like, you know, because I do personal readings all the time and I do the collective energy and I'm like, mm, and I just didn't want to give this person a chance, but I, really, I gave him a chance and I don't regret it. You know, and we've been dating for like almost a year. Well, it was about to be a year, matter of fact, coming up. So it was like just interesting to me. So that's why when I saw these cards, I was it just reminded me of my energy in the past. And I was about to be like, you know what, Ash, stop fighting it. You know, because that's how I felt. I just I kept fighting it. But then I had to put an ending to that. You know, like I just stopped. I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go with the flow. Everyone's not the same. I'm not gonna just not talk to them because I you know, they talk about this sign a lot in the collective or this or that. You know, so I had to like be open to it. And I feel like for some of you guys, that's what it is. It's like you guys need to be open to it. It's like because you're you're thinking about your past or they may be the same sign as your ex or it just may be anything, okay? But it's seeing like to not push them away. Seven of Wands, the Four of Swords in reverse. That's you, you know, waking up, realizing what you got or realizing that you do have love in front of you. The Will of Fortune is here with High Priestess. And deep down inside, you know it feels right or something is telling you that it feels right. But it's like party wants it to feel wrong or not right. But it's all due to fear, the past. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles is in reverse. So that's what I'm saying. This is someone that is ready but not ready. Okay? It's like you're ready but you're not all the way ready yet. Because there's some type of fear. There's some imbalance. You know, lack of commitment. Lack of commitments. The um, Queen of Pentacles in reverse also doesn't want to, like, give in. You know, because she doesn't want to, like, um, she just feels like 
she feels like when she's reversed, she feels like she's already given too much. She's already done too much. You know, and she's like, I'll be damned if I give in. You know, if I'll be damned if I give to another person, another relationship. You know, so I just feel like that's how you guys are feeling. You want this love, but you're like, you know what? If I give in, if I say something, if I do something, it doesn't go right. You know, so let's see. We have the harmony and love. Contemplation. Yep, that makes sense. And you guys are, I feel like you guys are just like, just overthinking it. Honestly. I feel like you guys should just go with the flow for right now. Go with the flow. Wow, look what's at the bottom. Trust. You guys may love elephants. I have an elephant around you. Someone has a black and gold elephant in their living room. Black and gold. But um, you guys are needing to trust. You guys need to have trust in this new beginning. This new beginning of love. Okay? And you guys are needed to overcome the deception that you guys have experienced. Or not deceive yourself. Because deception is here. There's one person right here on this card. Okay? See, look, and we have aloneness right here. So deception and aloneness. So don't deceive yourself because why you may feel like you're alone or you may feel like this person doesn't want to be with you. They want to build and grow with you. They want to have a family with you, children with you. Okay. And then look what's under family. Oh, this is so freaking cute, guys. Look, family is here. And under family, look, we have engagement. All right. So y'all are going to be like a little Brady Bunch. Because everybody's like all different colors in the picture, all mixed up and everything. It's cute. It's super cute. You know? So I just feel like you guys are just like, everything's going to work out. I feel like you guys just need to have trust. Okay? Trust and have faith that everything's going to work out. So this reading does look good. But it's like, you overcome your fears because like the new love is here. And they are not leaving. Okay? They are not leaving. King of Pentacles. They are committed to your ass. This is wish fulfillment, okay? Who you're allergic to is this ex that don't want shit, that ain't shit, that ain't gonna do shit, okay? The King of Wands reverse, higher font reverse, not a pentacles reverse. Someone that ain't shit, that's codependent. You can do so much better. They want control, they want things to be their way, okay? So, you know, you got to ask yourself, are you ready? Okay? So we have sex here. And I feel like sex is on their mind. Maybe you guys haven't had sex yet. Not sure. Maybe you guys have. But, you know, they want to be intimate with you. So let's see. Let's see why sex is here. Let's go on to sex. Ace of Swords. They've made it clear. They're about to make it clear. The Death card. Wow, the King of Wands reverse. And the Ten of Cups. They want to be real nasty. Okay? And the King of Wands, he usually is slinging, you know? But it's like, they're like, you know what? I'm about to put an ending to all this little cute shit. I want to be nasty. So whoever this is, they want to be nasty. Some For some of you guys, they want to make a baby with you. Okay? For this of you, they want to be nasty. Okay? Um, and I feel like with the Seven of Swords, they've been like in their head, like this thinking dirty, thinking nasty. All right? Because this is the King of Wands reverse. I don't see this as cheating. I don't see them... I don't see this as them cheating or doing anything like that manipulative. I don't, I'm not seeing it that way. Not that way. Mm -mm, no. Because the king of wands in reverse is like, they're not, it's like it's when someone is pulling back their energy. And they may be pulling back their energy or they feel like you're pulling back their energy, uh, your energy. Or it's like this person, it, when it comes to sex, they want you to make a move. You know, like, you know, they might want you, they might want foreplay. They might want hair or something. I don't know. It's like they want you to like... I mean, we're adults. We're going, right? Right? So it's like, whoever this person is, it's like, they want you to, like, come on to them. They want you to make a move. They want you to be nasty. Because they feel like they're always making the first move. They're always, you know, getting it started. But they're like, okay, enough of this cute shit. Like, I want to get dirty. I want to get nasty. I want to get freaky. They want to do something. They want to be spontaneous. They want to do something different. And then, like, for others of you, they want to make a baby. With that ten of cups there. So let's go into this king of wands really quick. Because they were like, whoever this is, it's like, they want to do the nasty. All right. Pay the cups reverse. One of you guys may not want kids, but they do. Someone has kids on their mind. Or someone may think that they can't get pregnant and they will. Or they are. Or someone wants to get you pregnant. But you may not want kids. But either way it goes, baby or not, the higher upon is here. Okay? So, like I told you, the new love is here and they are not going anywhere. 
anywhere look and you are going to decide to move on move forward with them i feel like with the um with the moon here look let's here go the king of wands there you guys go look king of wands and nine of pentacles some of you guys are being moody some of you guys are being in that moon energy like you're putting them through cycles like you're like moody one minute you want to talk to them one minute you don't one minute you want to be freaky and nasty one minute you don't one minute you're like you know what i'm single i'm fine i'm independent i don't need your ass you know i can do it on my own then the next minute you're like no but i want love i want somebody around me you know i like them all that, so it's just like, you're going to, I'm not going to say you're going to give in, like you're going to give in, like, oh, you're just going to just give in, no. But there is going to be passion and chemistry, a lot of feelings, commitment. Both you guys may be moody with the moon, or at times you guys may pull your energy back from each other, because I feel like you may like them or love them suspiciously, and they may feel the same towards you. But I feel like all together, just looking at this person's energy, I feel like they're not going anywhere. And I also feel like this person is way more into you guys. Than you are into them right now. Okay? Um, and someone is just like about to explode. Someone is overdue. And it might be you with this Queen of Pentacles. For some of you guys, you haven't had sex in a long time. Okay? The batteries ain't doing it. We need the real deal. All right? For others of you, they feel like you're holding back. They feel like you're too focused on work, the home, whatever. You're too grounded. They feel like you need to get freaky, get a little nasty. Because they, they're, they're, they're backed up with the tower. That's a lot of sexual energy over here with the sex card. Okay, you're like, no, we're not planning sex, we're about to get it in. Strength card, this is very wild, interesting, different, fun. Okay, I like things can get wild between you guys. I will. Okay, so like I said, I don't see this person going anywhere. I don't, they're here, and I don't see them leaving. All right, so let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. At the bottom, wow, look, closing door completion. Wow, number five. That is interesting. Look, stars in the sky, limitless possibilities. Wow. So you guys are closing doors and you guys have limitless possibilities coming in. And look, repairing, look, repairing the veil. Wow, this reading is not fucking, oh my goodness, look, forgiveness. So you guys are forgiving your past and you guys are repairing the veil, Okay. Because y'all about to get married and have a new veil on or have a veil on. That is freaking dope, okay? So, I am pulling a card from the Shaman's um, Dream Oracle. I want to know what card is going to come out. This reading, I love it. All right? Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Let that new love in, okay? So, I mean, not to say it like this, guys, but I feel like this. If you guys can keep dealing with the ex and keep letting the ex come in and for some, not all of you guys, but keep letting them lie, betray, cheat, whatever, you know, and I'm going to say this because a lot of people say this. They're like, oh, that's my twin plan. This is my soul name. You know, it's not for the week. No, don't ever say that. Okay. Because when someone loves you and they respect you and they care about you, you don't have to say this ain't for the week because no one should ever make you feel like you should not have to go through hell and motherfucking back. To prove yourself, to prove your love, for someone to love you for nothing, okay? I get it. I understand the Twin Flame journey. It is hectic. It is a lot. It puts you through lessons and stuff. But a big part of the of that Twin Flame journey is all about you evolving and growing, knowing your self-worth, having self-respect, um, you being like true and real and honest to yourself, being your true authentic self, not giving in, not like, you know... Um, it's a lot. It's it's about you guys not giving in, but just going and evolving and learning the lesson. So it's like for some of you guys, when you guys chase or you guys hold on or you guys are like, oh, I got to do this because of that. No, that just keeps you guys more apart. For some of you guys, just so you know, like Twin Flames, some of them don't even come together. Okay? It's always a winner chaser situation. All right? For some of you guys, not for all of you. All right? But I'm only saying this because... I just feel very heavy because I just I'm getting messages that some of you guys are not allowing yourselves to be loved or to get love or like it's like you want love but it's like you're holding on to someone and you're holding on to them for a reason and the reason may be because of the connection or certain things but once you see and realize that what you're holding on to is stopping and blocking real love or true love or Someone from coming in that wants to love you, it'd be totally different. So I just feel like, guys, like, let love in. Allow this person to come in. Allow this love to come in. If you can take this person back and you can deal with their shit, then guess what? 
you can take the time to get to know someone and see where it goes. Because it's not going to hurt you. But dealing with them is going to keep fucking hurting you. So give the new love a chance. Okay? I know some of you guys want to be with someone in particular or your mind or your heart is set on someone. And that's great. That's beautiful. That is great. Okay? Um, damn, you guys know I'll take cards from the ground. So, um, that's great. You know, but I want you guys to think about that, okay? Because the reason I'm saying that is because when you guys are holding on, you know, to your twin flame or whoever, your soulmate, whatever it is, and they're out with another person, regardless if it's a karmic whoever, they move on in some type of way. They do their thing. They're not holding back. They're not alone. So why should you have to be? Why should you have to be? Why should you be? Just think about it. All right. So it was like three cards that's on the ground. But let's see. You guys know I don't take cards from the ground, but let's see what the message is going to be. Uh oh, that's too many. All right, so let's see. Spirit of the Universe, what is the overall energy for this reading? Shaman, with the Shaman Dream Oracle messages. Give me one message. I want it one, so I'm going to put it up. Just give me one message. And we have Unmarked Trail, Revelation, number 57. All right, so let's see. Can I just have the books here? Oh, it's right here. Unmarked Trail. Wow. Okay, so it says Unmarked Trail. You are called now to embark on a sacred journey. So, let me see. It's long, so I'm going to shorten it up. Okay, it says, likewise, you must enter the darkest forest of your soul via a route as yet unidentified to find what you seek. The manicured paths will bring you only temporary, temporary ple pleasure and later great pain. Stop it. You already know there is no reward at the end of the road you are following. You are only killing time, pause, breathe, and commit in your heart to a sacred Evendor. Vow to not look for old situations. Are solutions that may have worked with past challenges get out of it says get out of character try the outrageous and keep your quest private now is not the time to speak of the voice that caused you to embark on the unmarked trail that time will come the unmarked trail can be a sign that you have already made a choice even if you do not want to acknowledge it be at peace with what your heart knows to be true your heart has already been made up and your mind will follow pack lightly Taking with you only essential benefits and beliefs that you know to be trustworthy under all circumstances. The, un the universe has your back. Okay? So, guys, that's deep. Right? So, it's just saying, like, pack lightly. Only take what, what you know and trust and believe in. Okay? Leave the rest behind you. I'm going to put one more message. And then that will be the reading. You only want one, so I'm just going to... Any, mini, mini, mo, catch a tiger by this toe. It's like, let's see. Heart, home, compassion. All right? 27, that's nine. So let's see. We have heart, home, compassion. So it says, love in its trust. No, sorry. Love in its truest form, compassion. Can't read. So it says, when you begin to feel like you do not belong anywhere, it's time to make your way back to your heart home. This is your true home. You are being called back to the quiet place where your soul resides. Put everything on hold for a short while. You are being offered the experience of love in your, the purest form, unconditional and unbonded. What did I tell y'all? And yes, the camera's shaking because I'm stomping my foot. What did I tell y'all? Didn't I say this new love is coming in, it's here to stay, and they're not going nowhere? Okay, so it says, put everything on hold for a short while. You are being offered the experience of love in the purest form, unconditional and unbonded. This is not the love you must work hard to earn. 
Drop into your heart space and rest there for a breath or two. Replace the judgment of yourself and others with compassion. Look, replace the judgment of yourself and others with compassion. Really, it is easy when heart home shows up. There is no need to forgive anyone for anything. None of it occurred. In the spiritual truth, it is only your belief and that story that makes it so powerful. Allow your love to wash clean all those impressions. Empty yourself of all judgment and procrastinations and allow spirit to fill you with the sweet nectar of peace. When heart home shows up, it is imperative that you head, no, that you heed its call. Let the universe orchestrate a way to bring you back to yourself. That is of a true compassionate nature. Love it. So, guys, what did I just tell you guys? When I told you guys this love was going to be at peace, are you guys going to be at peace? Are we going to be more peaceful? It says, this is not the love you must work hard to earn. It starts with you, right? But they're telling you that this love that's coming in, you're not going to have to put a lot of work. You're not going to have to work hard. You're not going to have to overdo things. Let the love come in. It's going to flow. It's going to be great. It's going to be beautiful because you're going to be in your heart home. And that's the best place for your heart to be. So you're going to attract someone in a high fucking vibration that is going to love you regardless. Okay? There is no if, ands, or buts. All right? So let the love in, guys. Let it in. Because this new love is here to stay. Like I said, they ain't going nowhere. All right? I love you guys. Stay dope. You guys are freaking amazing. I love you guys much. And I will see you guys in the daily meeting tomorrow. All right? Bye, loves.